Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm the factory rep for the Forest River Sandstorm Toy Hauler, and we're out here with the new 346 GSLR for 2023 model year. Let's check it out. All right, so we're out here on the deck of the 346 GSLR and a couple of cool things to note. So you got a 3,000 pound ramp door here, so that's all plenty of weight rating to be able to pull in any of the toys that you might be trying to load into here. Then we're out in the deck setup right now, so you got 2,000 pound weight rating when you're in this deck setup. So it's important to remember, you got a patio kit that we run as an option. So this is something that's available on any sandstorm that you might purchase. So you can add this on if you want to be able to have this patio set up where you got dogs or little kids that you want to set this up and hang out and not be worried about anybody you know falling off or having any issues like that this is a great system that we've added on you also have an additional option which is the rear awning that we can put on any of our sandstorms as well so that's cool if you want a little extra shade while you're hanging out um, and as you start to move in we also have a vinyl system that you can bring this down and this is a little additional wall that's a screen system so any bugs or anything aren't flying into your coach while you're leaving this patio set up set up and hanging out all right, so we're inside, and I feel like it's important to kind of point out how this electric pass-through dinette system works. So you actually have two sofas that oppose right here, and right now we're set up in the actual dinette position. Um, a cool feature, you can take one of these tables out. Both of these tables are individually set on their own post, which is cool, because if you just have you know, a small group out camping with you, you'll be able to just have one side set up, so you got clear access to be able to go out into the back, or, uh, you know, just less space being taken up. But it's also, these will fold and they will make into a bed here in the back. So both of these will jackknife and fold and they'll push together to touch so you have a bed down here on the bottom. Now these will raise all the way up into the ceiling so when you're loading in your toys or anything that you might have, these will be raised up against, uh, against the top of the coach. They also have a cool feature where you can pull some pins on them and they will fold flat into the wall. So if you have, you know, a light bar or, you know, any sort of mods to the cage of a side by side or any sort of larger equipment that you're bringing in, you can actually get the full clearance of the ramp door all the way to the top. So that way, you know, anything you need to bring in can come in. So those fold into the side. And then additionally, you have the extra bed that's up top that can sleep, you know, two adults or some kids or whatever you have going on. Um, and then from there, you also have a lot of cool little, you know, 12 volt charging stations up in the top, you know, so if you got iPads or phones, whoever's sleeping up there, they can plug in. And then, yeah, just a nice little LED light strip and just plenty of functionality for the rear end. So as we move up a little bit further, the 346 GSLR is the largest fifth wheel that we build. So you've got 22 feet of cargo all the way up into this front end. Um, so you can pretty much load a majority of the equipment if you've got a side-by-side -side and maybe some quads, all of those things you kind of have access to. And an important thing that we do is we also, into all of our slide outs, we build a flip floor system underneath this sofa. So what that does is the floor is on a, on a hinge and it can open up and fold against the wall. So when this slide out comes in, normally this floor would end up intruding on your floor space that you have to load in toys. But as this comes in, you can flip that floor up. So if you say you have the wheels of a side-by-side -side that are a little bit wider than the rest of the car, this can come in and hug that wheel so that you have more clearance to pull quads or dirt bikes or, or really anything that you might have all the way up into the front end while the rest of your car is hanging out over the axles where it should be. So. Also, we've got the two chairs here, um, a nice little setup. These are great because they can go up into the front um, patio deck if you need to hang out outside and have some extra chairs. They're really nice. Uh, all of this breaks down so that you can have full, complete access to the cargo area. You've got tie downs that are mounted all throughout, all the way up into the front end of the coach. This here is just a carpet kit. We just put these in to help the coach feel nice. Or some people will even use it as additional functionality where they like to pull their cars in on top of the carpet so they're not getting dirt inside of the coach and then they'll roll it up afterwards. But so this comes out and that's where you have full access to all the tie downs. And then yeah, so we're in the kitchen, so a couple important things. We got a large double door refrigerator here. Uh, in sandstorms, we do gas electric refrigerators on everything because our emphasis is dry camping. We feel like that's very important for people to be able to have multiple options when they're out there, you know, because if you're out in the dunes or doing anything specific of that nature, where you want to be able to have as many varieties to access to different sources of energy and power throughout your coach. So you've got a gas electric refrigerator on here that's auto, so that'll know if you turn your gen on or you're plugged into power. And then as we kind of move forward, you got the lighted countertops and the fifth wheels. That's really nice. And additionally, you know, the single bowl sink that can fit pots and pans and stuff. And then on top of it, you've got the, co the covers that go on top of here as well. So you get a little bit more counter space and you're not actually needing to access the sink. Uh, we do these large 
cabinets all up above and that has plenty of storage area for you we've got the recessed glass cooktop here on the uh on the oven as well so you got even more counter space because space is really important in a toy hauler because you need to have space for the toys and you still need to have the functionality to be able to work around so we also run a full size 22 inch oven so that's a little bit larger than some of the other stuff that's out there so we try to make sure we give those amenities where we can same goes for a larger microwave as well so a really cool thing that we're doing on all of our sandstorms and also in this 346 is we have all of the controls important controls for the coach all centrally located in one area so you have the control for your generator for the max air fan option the rear awning the the front awning out here on the side the bed control system all of the lights the water pumps that are inside of the coach the generator everything's here it's clearly labeled and it's easily accessible so that way you're not fiddling around with switches trying to turn stuff on and on in your coach so a quick look at the bathroom a couple of cool things to note we do f use a porcelain toilet we do that in all of our sandstorms and specifically we do that on the 346 you also have a radial glass shower door you got a little locking system here and then this is good because you got the skylight as well so tall people like myself I can actually stand in this shower and be able to take a shower as conveniently as possible in an RV uh, you got you know your single bowl sink over here as well um, we run an inverter on all of our fifth wheels and it's important to know you know one of the outlets even in the bathroom is inverted so if you got a hair dryer or something and you don't want to turn on the jan it's early in the morning you're getting ready you got that outlet powered you also have the one in the bedroom one in the kitchen um, and the tv locations as well so the inverter is a really nice thing to have also in your bathroom and not just alone in some of the outlets throughout the coach. So up in the front bedroom here, we have a standard king size bed. So no RV kings where they're short. All of our fifth wheels or any of our floor plans where there's a king bed, it's a standard king. You also have the additional wardrobe slide that we put here. So you have those two wards on both sides that can fit hangers and coats and anything of that nature. Uh, this floor plan, all of our fifth wheels, we equip them with a 5.5 generator with a second AC prep. So even if you ha don't have the AC installed in the front bedroom, it's something that you can add aftermarket with your dealership or anybody you're purchasing from. This one, we already have it equipped with an additional 13.5 AC up in the front bedroom. When you're getting a coach this big, if you're out in the dunes, it's nice to have a little extra air up here in the front end. You got a little extra storage space up above here in the header. And then on top of it, you've got 12 volt charging stations on both sides of the coach. So when you're hanging out and you're going to bed, you can have access to plug in your phones. All those roll on 12 volts, so you don't have to worry about generator or anything for just charging some of your basic appliances. Okay, so we're outside of the 346 and we're on the door side and some of the cool features that we've got going on out here, you've got this large pass-through storage that runs all the way to the opposite side so you can fit tables, chairs, anything you have going with you. You got the battery location as well so you can fit, you know, multiple six volts and plenty of space to do whatever battery setups you're looking to do on your coach. So as we work our way this way as well, you also have aluminum wheels and we are running the tire pressure monitoring system that is going to be on all of our sandstorms. So that's really cool because it's not only going to tell you the tire pressure, but it's also going to give you the temperature. So as you're towing down the road, you got that unit inside of your truck and you can see whatever you have potentially going on with your tires um, So make sure you're towing at the safest levels you possibly can. So we also have the awning with the LED light strip out here. You got some patio uh, speakers that are upgraded to the Kenwood audio system. So those are nice, good sound going on. You also have the, the connect here so you can pull your television from the inside out and you can mount it up out here. This is an outlet that's also inverted so you can watch the TV from outside. We're outside of the driver's side of the 346 and you have a really cool fuel station out here. It's a 40 gallon fuel station so you can use this to fill up your toys. Uh, you also have a new controller that we've been running for about a year now. So the great part about this feature is you can actually see the amount of gas that you have in the tank on this display outside so you don't have to go inside of the trailer to be able to find that. You can also turn it on and off from outside and when you turn it off it will pull the remaining fuel out of the hose so that way you're not leaving any gas in there or leaking. You know causing a mess outside of your coach when you're done filling stuff up. So we're on the other side of this pass-through storage that was originally over on the door side. So over here is where you're going to have all of the connections and all of the conveniences. So we have a battery disconnect and the way that we actually wire that is your 260 watt solar panel that's up on the roof. Even when you flip this battery disconnect, that's going to continue to charge your battery. So it's always a feature that you can just turn that off when you don't need to be using anything, any 12 volt throughout the coach or you got it parked and know that you're still providing a charge to your batteries. You have all of your uh, water connections here, your cable satellite connection. You got a nice 
little outside shower as well. You've got a, a convenient winterization connection out here, which makes it a little bit easier to be able to put the antifreeze through the coach. Um, dump station down below, we add additional dump station lights on all of our sandstorms. So if you have to dump at night in that inconvenient situation, you can turn that on and it's a little bit easier. You got your propane bottles to storage here. This one options with the 30 pound bottles, but you can do 20 or 30. Uh, we also up in the front end, we have our 5.5 NPS powered by Yamaha generator. The cool thing about that generator is uh, it runs on an eco mode. So when you're putting less or pulling less energy through the coach, it's actually gonna run at a lower RPM and use less fuel. Uh, some other cool features on it that it has as well, there's a, there's a remote start for it. Uh, there's a pull start on it. So if you're out there and your batteries completely die, which is rare in a sandstorm because you have 260 watt solar, um, but still, if it does happen, you have access to a pull start that um, you can get the generator fired up without any battery power. Uh, so that's a really, really cool generator that we've been running and it's exclusive to Forest River, so we're really happy to have it. Thanks for taking the time to check out this 346 GSLR with me. Be sure to check out any of the other floor plans that we have at forestriverinc.com sandstorm.